Nishiki vs Trek Hey what's up guys and welcome to this video. I'm Anthony from here at Cyclespace and today we shall be comparing bikes from two of the most popular bicycle brands in the market, Nishiki and Trek. Before we start though, I recently heard a joke I want to share with you guys. You ready? Do you know the hardest part of learning to ride a bike? <laughs> the pavement. <laughs> Anyways, the links to the products can be found on the description below, so let's get started. Before choosing between these two brands, there are factors you should consider. First, what do you want from the bike and how much are you willing to spend? Once you'd answered these, you will have to be able to choose the better choice for you. To be able to choose, let's look at their differences. So the main difference between Nishiki and Trek is the price. Generally, the price of Nishiki bikes is more affordable and budget-friendly compared to Trek bikes. You can always find a nice, high-quality Nishiki bike for less than 300 bucks, while Trek bikes start at about $400. The reason for this is that Trek is a high-end brand and therefore has a broad price range, with bikes exceeding even $2,000. Nishiki bikes will not burn holes in your pockets while still guaranteeing you a super performance, comfort, and high-quality builds. Other differences include Main area of specialization Nishiki and Trek are different companies that focus their attention on different aspects of bikes. Nishiki is known and has a reputation for making superb mountain bikes. This is because they focus most of their effort and works into mountain bikes than any other type of bike. In turn, they have some of the most comfortable yet aggressive mountain bikes in the market. On the other hand, Trek bikes focus more on hybrid bikes. Hybrids can be used for daily commuting as well as some light off-roading. They also have a wide gear range to climb uphill and leisure riding. This could be a factor affecting their price since the hybrids are generally more expensive than mountain bikes. Frame Material The frame is essential when it comes to the durability of the bike. Nishiki bikes are usually fitted with steel frames, whereas Trek bikes come with an aluminum frame. Both materials have their own benefits and downsides. For instance, the steel frame on a Nishiki bike offers more durability but makes it heavier. On the contrary, Trek bikes are lighter and because of this, less stable on rough terrain. The reason for this could be that Nishiki focuses more on mountain bikes while Trek makes more of hybrid bikes. Suspension Mechanism The most common bikes that make use of a suspension system are mountain bikes. Nishiki bikes, therefore, boast better suspension than Trek. Additionally, Nishiki make use of full body suspension that Trek only uses for their higher end models. Full body suspension means suspension pistons on the front axle, rear, and saddle. This makes for a more comfortable ride, especially since Nishiki also has a powerful steel frame. Trek bikes, on the other hand, mainly use front suspension. For mountain bikers, they may not be the best choice. Range of products. What determines the range of products is usually the size of the company. While both brands are huge, Trek have more offerings compared to Nishiki. Other than hybrid bikes, Trek manufactures other types of bikes, from racing bikes, mountain bikes, and more. Additionally, they also have wider range of sizes from some of their products, such as the Trek FX series that go up to seven sizes. Nishiki did not have such a wide range, with most of their bikes being mountain bikes. Their bikes also come in the four main sizes, small, medium, large, and extra large. Overweight customers will therefore be luckier with Trek than with a Nishiki choice. For comparison, we will look at two similar bikes from the brands. We'll use the Trek Verve 2 and Nishiki Anasazi as our examples. Comparison table for key features. From the table, you can see that the Trek Verve 2 disc is slightly more expensive than the Nishiki Anasazi. Additionally, the Anasazi is heavier due to the steel frame and aluminum components. Similarities between the Trek Verve 2 and Nishiki Anasazi. Although they are from different brands, these bikes have a few similarities we think you should know. First, they both use Shimano components, including the brakes and gear sets. Like the Verve 2, Nishiki also comes with Shimano Atlas rear deroilers and Shimano shifters. These components are best for the functionality and price range of the bikes. In addition to this, they come in four sizes and are fitted with hydraulic disc brakes for responsive and controlled braking. Things you should know before buying the Verve 2 disc. The Verve 2 is built for comfort and recreational rides, and although it can go off-roading, it may not be the best for it. Taking it off-road constantly is asking too much of it, and eventually you'll experience some squealing and noise from the chain and brakes. However, if you stick to road biking and beach riding, the bike performs and lasts long. 
The suspension on the Verve 2 is also a bit stiff, causing slight discomfort on rough roads. Things you should know before buying the Nishiki and Asazi. Sometimes the chain on the Nishiki gets caught and stuck, causing the bike to stop all of a sudden. It happens usually on gravel, and other loose roads where the bike is rattling. This can also be dangerous if it happens downhill. However, the issue can be adjusted at your local bike repair shop. User Reviews What users are saying about the Verve 2 Glenn says, I love the quality and the style. The upright position and new adjustable handlebars are really great. Richard says, 3x8 gears is great for handling all types of riding conditions. Hydraulic disc brakes are super easy and super effective. My opinion, the Verve 2 is one of the most affordable comfort hybrid bikes and offers great value for money. It's suitable for long recreational rides with adjustable seats and handlebars for ultimate comfort. What users are saying about the Nishiki and Asazi. Jack says, The first thing I noticed was how smooth and quick and flawlessly the derailleur went through the gear changes. Lily says, I've had this bike for about six months. The Nishiki is built very solidly and is a suitable base for modding. My opinion, the Nishiki is a solid mountain bike suitable for any terrain. With the 3x8 drivetrain, there's enough power to power through the steepest hills and roughest roads. Trek Verve 2 Disc Overview and Features The Verve 2 is a lightweight hybrid bike with an aluminum frame built for comfort. It's also an 18-speed, meaning you never have to pedal too hard or soft when ascending up hills. For comfort, the bike also comes with very thick double wall tires that are puncture resistant. You also get mounting for fenders and racks alongside an easily adjustable handlebar. The Verve 2 is fitted with a quick release screw on the front wheel for easy removal and wall mounting if necessary. Pros Thick padded seat post with suspension, tablet or phone holder on the handlebar, robust suspension system. Cons Pedals get too slippery when wet. Nishiki and Asazi Overview and Features. The Anasazi is a mountain bike with a steel frame for the rough conditions expected for a mountain bike. Because of this, it is relatively heavy. Nishiki Anasazi also comes in four different sizes, from S to XL. This means you always have an option for your family members for a bike riding bonding session. Pros Solid and sturdy frame Wider range of gears High quality disc brakes Smooth shifting gears Cons Heavier than most bikes Verdict so, which is better, Trek Verve 2 or Nishiki and Asazi? With all factors considered, the Nishiki and Asazi takes the win for a few reasons. It provides a wider range of gears that shift smoothly when riding through different types of terrain. Nishiki also comes with a steel frame that is heavy duty and fit for aggressive mountain biking. It's also more comfortable and costs less. Trek Verve 2 is also fit for light off roading and daily commuting. It rides as comfortably but lacks value for money compared to the Anasazi. We've come to the end of the video, guys. If you love the comparisons, leave us a thumbs up and subscribe for more bike reviews. Are there any bikes you'd want us to compare? Be sure to tell in the section. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.